First of all, thank you so much for joining oh, me. Thanks this for having morning. me. Yeah, it's so great to have you in studio. You've got a presentation tomorrow. Can you tell me what that's all about? Yes. So tomorrow my uh, topic is 11 a.m. So I'm at the Calgary Health Show. I'm so excited to be here in Calgary. Um, and what I'm talking about, food and you. So I really talk about how we can start standing in health and wellness sustainability, start intuitive living, start listening to our body, what we need, not only food-wise, but workout-wise, and kind of the conversations going on in our head. And you are a really interesting story, Erin. I mean, you've been through it all. You've done the fitness competition thing. Uh, you've been through your own journey yourself with disordered eating. Can you tell me a bit about yourself in that? Yeah, that sure. Um, you know, I was raised in a household. My dad was a kind of, you know, amateur bodybuilder. Mom was a figure skating coach. And so, you know, we were very athletic. And um, what ended up happening was I began to just kind of go down the path of really disordered eating, and then I got into bulimia, which really occupied about 25 years of my life. And it was, what I realized, it wasn't necessarily the food, it was more so the conversations in my head. It was more so the control that I was looking for. Um, and once I began to put more language into it, and I began to understand that if I, if I could just take a breath, you know, and got a little bit more in tune with myself and listened to what I need, needed, if I needed to talk about my emotions instead of eating them. So it was a lot, it's been a lot of work, but it's, yeah, I'm actually really, I'm really blessed to be on the other side of it now. So. Right, and so many women and men can relate to this. And you said 25 years? 25 years. So how are you feeling now? Really good, yeah. really good. It's funny, you know, I still, you know, my little Blee McGarren still shows up every now and then, or my nasty girl voice, but I've, I have tools and strategies now I use, and I'll be talking about that in the seminar tomorrow, that really kind of bring me, bring myself back yeah. into myself. Put some tools in the toolbox yes, so people can exactly. bring them out when those exactly. bad habits do uh, exactly. pop up. Now, we hear about it all the time. Yeah. It's a lifestyle change. It's yeah. a lifestyle change. It's a lot easier said than done. So how can you help people with just starting healthier habits? Yeah, I think the big thing is taking away the word dieting. I think right. it can't be a diet. It can't be a quick fix, and that's what I did for so many years. I jump on every diet. I've been on every diet under the sun, so it always had an end. So I think what I've done now is I have to have flexible, structured eating. So it's intuitive eating, listening to what I need, but then also giving myself forgiveness if I have a bite here or there, you know. And so it's and that's a lifestyle for me. So it slowly became just a way of being, not just a, a quick fix. It makes sense. I just eliminated the word a uh, cheat meal yeah, from my vocabulary, I know, right? You, do that you, can't, too. you yeah. can't look at it that way yeah. if it's one enjoyable yeah. meal a week or something along that's the lines true. of that. Now you're also an author. Yeah. Uh, can you tell me about your latest book? Yeah, I've done. Um, so I have two cookbooks I've done that are part of the programs. Um, I'm slow cooking for a fast paced mom and air frying for a fast paced mom. I have a nine year old, so I'm a very very busy woman, and I work a full time job as well. Yeah. So using these wonderful two uh, pieces of equipment have really helped save time in my day to day. And and also just the nutrition idea as well. So I have those two, and then I'm just launching my Bulimia to Balance, the Revite, at the end okay. of this month. So yeah. people who uh, do purchase the Bulimia to Balance book, what kind of things can they expect when they open the page? Well, it really talks about my journey, and then talks about the tools and strategies I have used. Uh, my mom helped me write it as well. So really kind of looking at you know, what, what I've had to go through and the te steps I've used to kind of stand in fitness and health sustainability and to let go of my, you know, little Bulimia Garen, you know, so. Yeah. yeah, and you talked about there's slow cooker meals in there, which are my yeah. ultimate favorite. I'm away from the house for yeah. quite some time. Do you have a favorite recipe you can maybe tease oh, the, the viewers with? Oh, the teriyaki is mm. so good, and it's you know I give um, also the calories in there, the carbs, and everything. If that's something you want to right. count, but in there too is there's there's so many different options where you don't have to use the full sugar. You can use Truvia brown sugar that I just love. So oh. lots of different ways of utilizing, you know, nice ways of having nice tasty food. So I just use that Truvia brown sugar Isn't in my coconut great? muffins, and it does oh. It tastes amazing. So good. So tell me about the show really quickly. Where can people find you uh, yes. tomorrow and what time, all of that? So it is tomorrow at the Health Food Show. I'm going to be down there. I'll be down there all day. I have booth both days, so please stop by. And I'm on 11 o'clock for my talk. And from what I hear, I think they're giving out gluten-free cake, too. Mm -hmm. If I'm correct, I think we've got gluten-free cake going on down there. Okay. So it's going to be a great event. You are speaking my language. <laughs> okay, so thank you so yeah, much for joining you. us this morning. Thank good you. luck with everything. Thank you so much. And for more information on Erin and her journey or on the Health Show this week, and you can head to erinashley.com or thehealthshows.com.